I'm incredibly excited to be here this afternoon and share more about our vision for Yahoo. Yahoo is about making the world's daily habits inspiring and entertaining. And quite honestly, there are very few places as inspiring and entertaining as CES. As many of you know, we announced in November that award-winning journalist, author, and TV host Katie Couric would be joining Yahoo as our global anchor. And today, I'm excited to have Katie with us here at CES. I first got into the news business 35 years ago, and as many of you of a certain age know, it was a very different time. I've often said it was the time when harass was two words instead of one. Thank you for getting that joke. Could you tell us a bit more about some of what you're hoping to do at Yahoo? Well, I think one of the most exciting things for me personally about these oppor the opportunity at Yahoo is it really is a blank slate. As many of you know, I really enjoy interviewing. So I'm very excited the prospect of interviewing newsmakers, politicians, sports figures, philanthropists, anyone who we believe has an important and interesting story to tell. So I'm really excited to announce a new product today. It's called Yahoo News Digest, and at its core, it simplifies news and eliminates the problem of information overload. Yahoo News Digest, our new product, provides you with two daily summaries or digests, one in the morning and one in the evening. They both contain all the important news. The stories are algorithmically produced, but editorially curated, demonstrating the perfect blend between technology and journalism. Today, I'm excited to announce that David Pogue, the award-winning tech columnist, best-selling author, and TV host, will lead our tech magazine. So, um, yeah, I picked that picture off of Flickr. I, I thought it would suggest impact and drama and power, and now that I see it, it just kind of looks like the cover of Dianetics. Um, our country and our technological level, I think they break down along the same lines. I mean, let's face it, it's like, California, New York, and everyone else. So I think, let's face it, you guys are part of the bubble on the edges, right? Everyone at CES is a gearhead. You, you know what a Snapdragon processor is. You care about bus speeds. You, you have a Google Plus account. OK. Thank you. I wrote that one myself. Thank you. So you might ask, well, aren't there already many consumer technology sites that could help? Yes, absolutely. I'm not going to name any names, but they're out there. <laughs> this is yahoo.com slash tech. At Yahoo Tech, first of all, we have a language we're going to speak, and it's called English. It's called human. It's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like nothing else out there. So today, we're going to be launching the site. In fact, what I thought would be cool is if we launched the site right now. Now, I've, I've never done this. I don't, I don't know if there's like a big lever that you throw or a big red button. Do you know? <laughs> of course, it's an app. I should have known. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I hereby welcome to the world our baby, Yahoo Tech! We've made some exciting announcements today, and we look forward to, sh to sharing more with you in the future.